Yo, 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 yo. Hey, it's D's World again. Let me look at that real quick. Hold up. Yep. It's D's World again and got another reaction. Okay. Charter main or Charter EOS, whatever. Um, white. Charterson. Uh, Charterson White. How to say his name? My bad. How to say it? Charleston. Charleston, there we go. So Charleston. Um he's on um he's right there in that show. Uh Fashion Fit. I, I you know, I fuck with it sometimes. I like it. It's cool. You know, they always debate with girls and stuff, you know, and all that kind of thing most of the times and they be having hell of them and a lot of them females get all emotional and stuff. So this one it's yeah, let's see this reaction. All right. All right, y'all ready? Put it down a little bit. <sighs> Ready and check. Why on. aren't you guys in successful or great relationships then? What, because what it's was not the problem? only because it's not only our problem. It's not women aren't only the problem because it has to. Relationship is about two people. Two yeah, people have but, to be working. And, and, so on you a guys, so you guys saying the women have gotten smarter? I'm trying mm -hmm. to say the women before you went through the same exact things that you guys are going through. But they weren't successful they relationships is what I'm trying to say. They would just shut on. their mouth and Maybe hold on to their families because family they didn't sense. have a job. They didn't have yeah. a career. They didn't have anywhere to go. And God forbid they didn't have families to go back to with their children. They were stuck with that same man oh, so who were smart. cheating on them. That's smart. So you guys are in y'all 20s. <laughs> so you mean to tell me the 1990s women kept their mouth shut? <laughs> no, <laughs> the 1980s. Yeah. They women? didn't, but they probably put up with more because they, they put couldn't up with a lot do it on their own. They yes. could, hold on, hold on. I mean, a woman is far but different of a like. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. The women who couldn't do it on their own was in the 60s. The women in the 80s had food stamps, welfare, Section 8, mm. and child support. That is true. So oh. they this. So the women I'm referencing don't need a man. They've been doing it on their own since the 90s. Yeah. But they still had men who cheated on them. Most women have been taking care of men since the 80s and the 90s. You guys are talking about grandmama and them from the 60s who needed a man. We talking about the women from the 90s. My mother was born 60, never had a man in the household. Wow. I was born in the 70s, so I watched a whole group of women never needed a man. Mm -hmm. Right. But they were... They, most women today are dying single with no male companionship. Cats and dogs. Yeah, but How are they better off than the women who had husbands who helped them raise the families? <laughs> yeah, but with the emotional with stability. The, <laughs> right. With the with the women that did die single, what else did they have in their repertoire? They had probably a career or a place to stay. Like how you said, they were supporting themselves. They probably had kids of their own if they Probably never been married. Here's a cold hard biological reality. All, 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 all of them have dealt with the same kind of men that the women of the 40s and the 50s. Men haven't changed. So I'm listening to you guys saying, well, we've gotten smarter. And I'm saying, well, when you look at the results, how have y'all gotten smarter when most of y'all don't have men? Bam. And y'all are still dealing with the same <laughs> type of men that your grandfathers, grandmothers dealt with. I mean, men who lie and cheat. It's not about to but have a man who lies and cheat. Right. That well, doesn't gauge our intelligence. Okay, though. here's the problem, like, ladies. You know I mean? uh, here, here's the thing. The, 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 we got to understand a cold, hard biological fact. Men are more interested in things. Women are more interested in people. One of the biggest contributors to a woman's overall fulfillment and happiness is children and a family. There's a reason why when two men meet, they shake hands and say, what do you do for a career? When two women meet, they hug each other and say, do you have a children? Are you married? Because women base their value on their social circle, who's around them, a.k.a. a family. Men base their value on their career and what they're able to achieve. So you can say, I have a career. I make my own money. That's fantastic when you're in your 20s and you're still attractive and you got a bunch of guys coming after you. When you hit your 30s, get a little bit older, those same yacht invites aren't coming to the same level or the same amount of DMs are not to the same level. Uh, the, the the caliber of men that you're dealing with aren't as high as they used to be when you're in your 20s, that's when the walls are going to start to close and you're going to realize, damn, I don't have as many options as I thought. And here's the thing. One in four women now is on antidepressant medication. Female anxiety and um, antidepressant medication has gone up. Prescriptions has gone up 
since the 1970s. Women have reported lower levels, l- lower levels of overall happiness since the 1970s as they've become more empowered and more free. Explain that to me. Feminism is a lie. It tells you, go chase a career, go make money, be get your bag. You're going to find that man just by making a lot of money, becoming successful. It's a lie. Women derive pleasure from children and a family mostly. And they proved this. They did a study in Ireland, actually, where they took women that were in the workforce. And when COVID happened, they went back home and worked from home. Then when it was time for them to go back to the workforce, most of the women elected to stay home and take care of their loved ones versus, versus entering the workforce. So what I would say is this. Most women, if given the choice, would prefer to have a man, children, work from home, and or do some type of job that's elective, not mandatory, and have a family. A lot of girls sit there and cope and say, oh, feminism, I want a career, etc. You know damn well that's not going to give you satisfaction. Damn. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Whatever you're saying right there, both of them, I mean, you see both sides into, like, the women, how they are right now. It's just that you got to watch out because, you know, they want too much, you know? Just like what they're saying right there. They just, I think men are men, and women, they could do more now. And then they just think that they they don't need it. But then when it happens, they want to argue about it and something like that because I'm be honest, man. If women don't give it give it to them and like go out or something like that, doesn't give themselves out like that, how it is, I bet you like guys would not be like, damn, this girl looks good. But man, sh- man, like a hundred guys smash it. Going to be like, nah, it's cool. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to like, I don't want my, my baby mama or my girl going to be a hundred freaking guys smash it, you know? You want to have somebody that's a woman that respect themselves, but then, I mean, yeah, that's basically like respect themselves and all that kind of way. But man, the whole thing right there is like, it's just the time is different now, you know? And like, oh, I'm strong, I'm this. And then at the same time, when they come that kind of way, it's like they very, they, they flake, or when, when it gets really all bad, they, oh, can you kick his ass for me? It's like, ah. Uh, yeah, so everything they're saying that kind of way, I I agree with that. Because, uh, yeah, everything they're saying right there. But, yeah, tell me what y'all do right there. All right, man. Peace.